Welcome to Shelter Food and Beer. Can we talk? Wagyu. Snake River Farm. Wagyu steaks were on sale at that French restaurant, Savoy. I sent my wife down to our Savoy. And uh, they didn't have the New York strips, but they had the ribeye. That happens to be my favorite cut. The difference between this Wagyu and the ones you see from Japan is it's an American grown farm out in Idaho and they're giving it a go. You can tell it still is very red like you get the steaks in the supermarket but it does have some really nice marbling on it and um, opposed to $7.99, $8.99 a pound this steak here was running $30.99 a pound so it's a bit pricey but it's nothing like the Japanese Wagyu which can run as much as $150 for a steak this size. Japanese Wagyu is a specific type or breed of cow from Japan and they use four different breeds. The Japanese have a, a really solid trademark and they don't export the live cattle at all so there is none of those cows in the United States or other parts of the country it's exclusively to Japan the American ranchers are coming around and been working on it and breeding it and they have cattle that is 50% bloodline from the original um, cows in Japan the breed is very important but it's not the only thing they do it's also in the feed the gr grass feed them for the first year of their life but after that they put them on a, a vegetable and um, grain diet so the diet is really important it's as important as um, the breed of the cows I'm gonna break a little bit of the rules with um, preparing a steak like this I mean I'm sure it's gonna be an excellent steak and usually with an excellent steak all you need is a little salt and this is smoked salt and a little pepper But in addition to the salt and the pepper, I'm going to add Urfra, which is a, a black uh, toasted chili. And I'm also adding coffee grain. So this is the Urfra. And this is the coffee grain. I probably didn't say that right. It's Urfa. U-R-F-A. Urfa. Wagyu. Beer. Coffee grounds. Why am I calling them grains? I don't know. And this is a, a really fun flavor that I like on my steak. The steaks could be cooked right now so this flavor doesn't necessarily penetrate the meat but it puts a nice crust on it, a good flavored crust. It's on pretty high but it feels like it's cooking slow. It's been on for what 35 seconds. Can I eat it yet? And there you go. I'm going to let that rest for about five minutes. This is my finished plate. The Wagyu steak cooked rare to medium rare. Little side dishes 
here some wedge potatoes cooked in the air fryer which I will be dipping in a truffle and garlic aioli. Beautiful dark beer to go with this great grilled steak. And I will also be having some uh, Johnny Walker Black Label. Smoky, great flavor, really goes good with a grilled steak. Mm. Basically, I got all my favorite things right here in front of me. Except for my wife. Where's my wife? Let's go in for the first bite. Mm -hmm. It's very tender, very floppy. And as you can see, I cooked it the preferred way, which is rare. Mm. That's a very nice piece of meat. Soft, tender, juicy. I'm going to get into this and uh, get back to you on it. Because I eat like a cow. No, I'm eating a cow, right? So what do you think of the temperature? Would you eat a steak like that? You wouldn't believe how soft it is. Thanks for watching Shelter Food and Beer. In retrospect, that was a pretty damn good ribeye steak. It's way better than the ribeyes that I normally eat. And I cooked it rarer than I normally do. But it's buttery, tender, delicious steak. I would be pleased to get that in a restaurant. 